Hey there, Christopher out here. This video, I want to talk about the elections. I know, everybody's sick of hearing about them. But in hindsight, I think there's really something that we need to be aware of. 2 Timothy 3.12 and 13 read, Indeed, all who desire to live godly lives in Jesus Christ will be persecuted, but evil men and impostors will proceed from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. Looking at the election, one has to wonder what happened to Romney on the subject of the Benghazi attacks. September 11th, when they happened, Romney was highly critical of Obama's response to the attacks. And he was highly criticized in response for his attacks on Obama. Now, at that time, he wasn't receiving national security briefings, but from... The news reports I've read, he started receiving them September 17th. Uh, October 3rd, the first presidential debate on domestic policy happened, and the subject came up, but Republicans were disappointed that Romney didn't go after Obama more strongly on the attacks. October 4th, Romney indicated in an interview with Sean Hannity on Fox News that he knew that requests for more security had been made at that point, he wasn't really clear that, you know, the request had come during the attack, but before the attack, requests had been made, and they were rejected. On October 16th, the second presidential debate happened. It was a town hall forum, and Romney made no mention of the fact that there were requests for more support before and during the attack. No mention that forces which could have responded were ordered to stand down. Romney actually makes the president look better in the uh, eyes of the American public, at least in general, as they uh, go back and say, well, he did mention terrorism in the speech that he gave the morning after, and Romney said he didn't call it terrorism. Well, he really didn't call it terrorism, but the fact is Romney made him look better. October 22nd, the third presidential debate focusing on foreign policy happened, but nothing of substance on Benghazi. Do you think that the national security briefs included details of the um, Petraeus affair? Probably. There's already speculation that the Petraeus affair was hidden until after the election. Uh, so one has to wonder, did Romney know about this? For a guy trying to become president, you would have to wonder why he was pulling these punches. Why, why didn't he go after these details? Then there's one more glaring problem that just blows my mind. And that is this so-called fiscal cliff that we're hearing about now. Why wasn't this part of Romney's campaign? Why wasn't this brought out and discussed? And why wasn't it made something of an issue for this election? One has to wonder why Mr. Romney would pull these punches. It seems to me that the November 6th elections weren't really elections at all. They were well-coordinated theatrics, much like a WWE professional wrestling match. And Obama, playing the babyface, won. Think about it. Evil men and imposters will proceed from bad to worse. Deceiving and being deceived. It's time to wake up. Smell the coffee. Well, until next time, happy Jesus Day, God bless, and peace out. Hi. I'm just making a video. No. Oh, nope, you're fine. <laughs> you can't step on boxes. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs>